Just wanted to show you my campsite from mile 1088 on the AT. I'm right at halfway. Almost exactly. I wanted to show you all my, uh, my hammock set up here. This is how I've been doing it lately. Uh, I pin it down on, on this side. On this side I use my trekking poles, my ski poles as my, uh, my tie downs. Gives me some more room in there. Uh, it's made by Wilderness Logix, the tarp. It's very light. It's called the Tadpole, I think. It's the smallest one that they have. Still nylon. Um, I really like it. Here's a little trick you can do if this isn't tight enough. You can just tie a water bottle to it like that. Well, here's my suspension. I use whoopee slings for the for the tarp. That way I can uh, tighten it up with a cinch. I just have a little S hook here. On the, uh, the hammock, I use a tree hugger from Wilderness Logics and some another pair of whoopee slings. And on this one, I got it doubled up, but I try to keep the whoopee sling right there. I got my uh, backpack hanging here. It's under there. If it, it did rain a little last night, but not bad. It would have been fine. But I also have a piece of plastic that I carry that I lay down on sometimes that I can put right here if I have to to get that more covered. I'm going to show you the inside now. Alright, I got the tarp folded back. First thing you'll notice is the uh, under quilt. It's made by Wilderness Logics too. It's 20 degrees I think, and look at how fluffy that thing is. It weighs about a pound or so, and it folds up real nice in a small uh, stuff sack. Here's a sleeping bag that's inside. Uh, this is a Western Mountaineering. It's a little more expensive, but uh, I like it. It's not as awesome as everyone brags about, but it kept me warm the whole time, you know, down to 15 degrees. You know, it's a 30. It rates at 32, so I really like it. It is really light, so I'm not complaining. But it's kind of, it's not near as puffy as this. And uh, for my pillow, I use the stuff, the stuff sack <laughs> for the sleeping bag, and it's got my vest and my other pair of shorts in there. So that's what I use for my pillow. Um, probably didn't need the underquilt last night. It was pretty warm, but I just wanted to use it. I just got it hooked right here. It's not tied on or anything. It just and uh, here's the uh, here's what I use for my drip ring. is a It's a Dutch beaner. It weighs I don't remember. It's very light. Uh, it holds up to 800 pounds, so I'm good. The hammock itself is just a Grand Trunk Nano. Um, I think it's seven ounces without any suspension. It's just a piece of material, still nylon again, and uh, very light. Well, I'm laying in the hammock now, and as you can see, it I lay pretty flat if you could lay at an angle. Um, if your trees are too close together, you're kind of getting a banana, but you can uh, you can sleep in the kayak position if you have to. This is pretty comfy. And I've got this little tube thing here. It's called a snake skin, but will this lodge just calls it something else? I don't remember the name. It just kind of goes on there like that. Then you just fold it up. Well, I just wanted to show you the tarp and everything, and uh, the hammock, and the, the whole system with the sleeping bag and the end of the quilt. And I sure have slept good. All right, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's uh, watched these videos the whole time. I know they were long. Um, Really had fun get, making it halfway here on the AT. Uh, it's been about two months and three weeks or so. Um, if you're interested in more about learning about hammocks, check out hammockforums.com. That's where I learned most of this stuff. Uh, thanks again. See you at the Half Gallon Challenge.